Okay, to begin, let's go to Blender. I'm using the version... What version am I using? I'm using Blender 2.9. Um, I think the latest version will still work, but if there's any issues, then use the Blender version that I'm using, which again is 2.9. Anyways, let's begin. First, we need to make our actual rock or our mountain shape. So let's just do that. I'm going to get a cube. And then honestly, it's just like a random shape. Just try to get it closely to a rock kind of look. What you can first do is make this sort of shape. So it's like this. And then just select all of it. Go to mesh transform and then randomize so do you don't you don't want too much of a randomize because it'll look like this crazy so again i'm going to go back to randomize and then I, I get this kind of shape and then over here i go to the vertices mode and edit it around so i'm going to move this down uh maybe make it so they're joined and how you do that is holding shift clicking the vertices pressing m and then doing whichever kind of merge i want to do there you go you can see it's like a just like a rock kind of shape you can do something much more better looking or you can just leave it like this um another thing you can do is doing control r and just clicking and then it adds like a line for you to just add even more shape to your rock another thing you can do is select your vertices or the edges pressing x and then dissolving them instead of just deleting them and maybe you can use all those stuff that i just said to make your rock shape um or you can just do whatever you want Again, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing. Just get this general rock shape in any way you can, and that's all it is. Okay, there's something like this. Again, it doesn't have to be too crazy looking. Now, once you get a rock shape, let's go to this button right here. And then actually no first select it right click it and then click shade smooth and then you click on this green triangle go to normals and then check auto smooth what we're doing is getting rid of the like the lines like if i go back here i'm getting rid of some of these and leaving some of them so like i got rid of those two lines because i just don't want it but i'm keeping these ones because if you look at a rock there are some hard edges and there's some smooth edges which is what we're doing right here, getting rid of some of the edges and keeping some of them. Like here's another example. I don't like that there's so much sharp edges here. So I'm gonna drag this up a bit so it's less, so that looks better to me. And also what you can do is go to edit mode, select an edge that you want to remain sharp and then right click and then do mark sharp. And if you go back to object mode, it will be sharp. There you go, there's my rock. Now, once you have this, we can start actually texturing it. So in order to start, we can go to the UV editing mode right here, select your entire rock and then press U and then we're going to click on smart UV project and then OK. Now it's unwrapped. Now we're going to actually create the texture. So click image, new, and then let's just name this texture. And then I like to make the actual texture bigger. So there you go. And then we're going to get our base color. Now let's go to this icon right here. New, let's select our rock first and then click on this yellow circle next to base color, image texture, this icon, and just open up the texture that we made over here at UV editing. Click on this white circle, click the arrow over here, flat, and then texture. I just like coloring um, or painting or doing my textures with a flat lighting. The reason why I'm doing my texturing in flat instead of studio is because in flat, I don't get these annoying shadows that get in my way while I'm texturing. And while I'm texturing, I like to draw in or paint in my own shadows. So I can't do that if, if I'm doing it in studio. If you don't like flat, then you can go to studio when painting. But I'm going to go to flat and make sure texture is on because obviously you want to see our texture. We switch to texture paint. So up here, click texture paint. Now this is where this part's going to be hard to do the tutorial because now you're actually just painting. Now this part, you actually have to have some like artistic skills in making the rock. And I'll just try to explain my process so you can follow along. So first I'm going to go over here and then I'm going to import some of my own brushes. So I just click new and then open. So here's one of my brushes that I'll be using. It's just like a spray kind of looking brush. So this is kind of the rock that we're kind of achieving. And what I'm going to do is just color pick from this rock 
to make it easier. And if you don't know anything about texture painting, I'll go over the settings of, within texture paint very quickly. Yeah, I'm gonna move this to the side because I actually don't need this. Up here are like different buttons for your brush. Over here, you can change the color of the brush. You can change the size over here, or you can just press F and then drag your mouse to change the size. Strength is basically the uh, the opacity of the brush. So if you lower this down, like the more transparent it will look. Fall off is um, whenever I'm painting, you can see over here is soft. If I don't want it to be soft, I can just make it so it's like this. Click on this right here, and now it won't be soft on the edges. So for example, if you fill this entire screen more, the more sharp the edge will be. But the more curve you give to it, the more softer the edge will be. Now let's just start painting. Now, as for the first step, I like to do the general light areas and the dark areas to make it look 3D. So for example, here's this cube in flat. We're going to have to paint in the dark and light areas. So I'm going to make the side of it dark and then make the top bright. And then now it looks 3D. So as our first step, let's first try to make our flat rock look 3D. I'm gonna grab from the, hold on, my brush is weird. If you're doing a custom brush, click up here, go down, texture, and then make it so it's at view plane. And then check random. So again, I'm gonna make the sides darker um, so I can make it look 3D. And then I'm gonna make the top the brightest. So let's just go over here, drag this up. And that's actually too bright. And there you go. You can see I made the sides darker and I made the top brighter. Now it looks more 3D. Now, what I'm going to do is actually go click this arrow right here and click cavity. And you can see the edges of your actual rock. I'm going to make it so like this section right here is one color. And then make this section right here another color. Now that we have like the general areas done where there's a dark and light sides, we're going to add color variation. If you see the reference example, it's not just a simple gray. There's like little greens to it, little pinks to it, or at least little reds. So let's add that in. Okay, and there you go. Now we're at this part. Okay, now once that I have this, I'm gonna add in the fake cavity. So if I turn on cavity right now, you, you see these white outlines, I'm gonna paint them on. So like over here, if you look at the reference, you can see there's like a white on the edge. That's what I'm gonna be replicating. So I'm gonna get a different brush for this and just get a light color. Go back to the cavity thing and then just go over the white edges. You don't have to do this for every edge, only some of them, um, I guess. You just go off of artistic intuition, whatever you think looks good. Just again, just not for all of them. Now you may realize, okay, that looks weird. Well, you're going to have to go over it again. So like I made this white line. Okay. I'm going to have to go over it with the pre-existing colors that are next to it and then just shape it out and like basically just making it thinner. See, so like, there you go. Now it's thinner. It looks better looking. The best place to add this cavity or this white line is between a darker area and then a brighter area. Okay, now there you go. Um, honestly, you can have this just be a rock. I wouldn't leave this top part just being a flat color if it was just a rock. But yeah, you can just have it like this as a rock. There you go. But I'm just going to add grass to the top. I'm going to get this one of these colors. You're going to be overlapping. So I'm going to start out with this color and then I'm going to add a, like that vibrant green on top of it. And then there you go. You can obviously be a lot more detailed with this. Like for example, maybe have even smaller rocks down here. But this is pretty much it. Uh, one last thing. Remember before exporting, before exporting, click image here and then you want to save the texture itself separately. So we're going to save it as. And then once you have saved your texture, 
then you then you want to go to layout file and then actually export the rock itself now all right now we can go to roblox studio now we can just click on home import 3d and open it size it down and there it is uh i'm gonna do some small changes what i like to do is get rid of all of the the reflections and stuff from the sky that goes onto the rock so it looks flatter because i i like having it flat because it looks more stylized first select the actual cube or the rock whatever and then go to properties copy its texture and then we're gonna add a surface appearance to it so click the plus next to the cube look up surface appearance click on it and go to properties within surface appearance and then paste that paste it into color map so now that we have this you can change the color of it as well while you're here lightly teal and then darken it here's a difference and after if you want like a darker rock there you go and then now what i was going to do earlier and then go to the toolbox go to decals and look up white and just get any that's just completely white so this would work right click it and then copy asset id go back to surface appearance properties and then paste that into roughness and there you go this makes it so like the surrounding areas uh won't affect so much on the rock this honestly looks like a drawing if i go to the side you can see it's actually 3d honestly in lender i only looked at this angle while painting that's why it looks best over here and if you go around it looks weird because i didn't really take account of the other sides of the rock because this is just a tutorial you can do those exact same steps but with more rocks like over here with this one and there you go using the rocks that i made in blender that's how you get the stylized look if this video helped, please consider subscribing or leave a like. If you have any questions, tell me them in the comments and I'll try to respond. Okay, bye.